Hi everybody, I'm Antoinette and this is Board Game Inquisition and we like to give you insight and information about your board games. So are you in the mood for some fast paced dungeon action? Well if so, here's five things I think you need to know about Dungeon Raiders. Dungeon Raiders, published by De Vere, is unsurprisingly a game about going through dungeons and looking for treasure. It's a semi-cooperative adventure for three to five players, and the winner is the person who has the most money but the least wounds at the end of the game. This is an exploration style card game. At the start of each round you'll construct a dungeon, and it'll be made of five cards, and each card represents a different event or room you're going to come across. Some of these are positives, like treasure and items, some of them are negatives, like monsters and traps. So at the start of the round you'll be given a hand of five cards and these are just numbers one to five and you'll use these to secretly try and pass tests that you come across in the dungeon. So for example when you come across a monster there'll be a specific number that you and your entire group have to pass to be successful. Should you fail the person you put in the smallest number will receive a wound however. The rest of the time things like treasure chests is the person who puts in the highest number and when it comes to items whatever number you've placed in will be the corresponding item on the card. The trick here of course is remembering that you can only use each card once per round so you really want to try and use them wisely. Similar games to Dungeon Raiders. Sadly I don't actually own any dungeon based card games, um, I've really nothing to compare it to. Have you played anything similar to it before? Why not let me know in the comments below. Setup is super fast despite creating all of these dungeons and it takes about 25 minutes for three of us to play. The rule book is very solid and each time you build a dungeon it's different so it keeps it fresh. The real variability however comes in the type of players you play with and you have to kind of bluff and connive your way to victory. Aesthetics wise the art in the game is fun and cartoony and really encompasses the vibe of the game incredibly well. The cards in the game are very well made, well they are the only thing in the box after all, but they should survive many many plays. So what's so special about Dungeon Raiders? I think it has to be that hand of cards numbered 1 to 5, because this could really have been a very ordinary game where you're just beating down the door and taking on the monsters. However, by adding this element with the numbers and having to bid secretly on each event, it really creates for like a very interesting bluffing and guessing game. How do I really feel about Dungeon Raiders? Firstly, the negatives. The fantasy theme here is horribly generic and it does nothing new or exciting with the genre. This is all bog standard, wizards, knights, you know, the usual. Now, my second issue is the fact that you need to have a minimum of three players to play this game and that might be a positive for you. But for me, it just means that the game can't get to the table as much as I would like and you do require a group of people to play it with. The positives. This game is a hell of a lot of fun to play. It's the kind of one where there's a lot of interaction between the players and um, where you're bluffing with each other, you're calling each other names, you're yelling in outrage. And I think because it's semi-cooperative, it makes it exceptionally cutthroat and entertaining. Secondly, this game is really, really easy to play, um, but also has some interesting decisions to be made. Do I use my best card now and hope everyone else will save me in later events? Or do I try and save something for later? Is it worth saving everyone else's asses? Um, as a whole, I think this is much more interesting than it appears on the surface. There's a good bit more depth there than I had anticipated. Finally, this is game is just a deck of cards. You could pick it up and bring it anywhere to play and play with anybody. And I think that makes it so incredibly accessible. Do I think you should have Dungeon Raiders in your collection? Well I'm not afraid to admit that when I looked at it first I wasn't particularly impressed. It's a dungeon on cards, you know, I could play Gloomhaven if I wanted dungeons. But this game is definitely more than the sum of its parts. This game really is about interacting with your friends, having a laugh, enjoying the experience. Um, and I do think this game does that incredibly well. So if you're interested in something you can play with a group of friends, you can have some laugh out loud moments, maybe create some rivalries, then this is the game you should be checking out. So that's another video wrapped up for Board Game Inquisition. I hope you guys enjoyed Dungeon Raiders as much as I did. If you've got any comments or queries you'd like to make about it, why not let me know in the comments below? I absolutely love hearing from people. Or if you want to do something super nice, you could like or subscribe to the channel because, you know, that helps more videos get made. And until next time, I'll be here playing games, asking questions, and of course, perusing my collection. Take care.